Welcome to my YouTube channel Jeevan Stack. So today we will discuss about how to import CSV file into existing table in SQL Server. So friends, this is about myself. So friends, I have this CSV file TBL employee. Okay. So in which these are the columns and records are there. So it has employee ID, first name, last name, phone number and salary. Okay. So let's open the Microsoft Management Studio. Okay. So I have one table TBL imp TBL underscore employee. Okay. So in which there are two records. Okay. So what I want is like we want to import the CSV file into this table. Okay. Which is an existing table. Okay. So how will you achieve that? So just right click on this database. So I'm using this database Geon stack. Okay. So just right click on this database. Go to task. Okay. So there is an option of import data. Okay, so just click on this. Okay, this wizard will open. Okay, so just click on next. Okay, so it is it is asking to choose the source data source. Okay, so you data our data source is the CSV file. Okay, so here you need to select the flat file source. Okay, now you can see it is asking to select the file. So there is a button called browse. So just click on browse and select the CSV file. So select here CSV and just I am selecting the I am selecting the CSV file. Okay. So I have this CSV file. So just click open. Okay. So my CSV file has been selected. Okay. So these are the options which is coming on the left side. It will show that that columns also which is exist in this CSV file. For an example, this employee ID, first name, these are the records and columns which are shown in, in the CSV file, which we have seen. Okay. So it will be displayed here. Okay. If you go to the advanced view, so you can see these are the columns which is exist in CSV file. Okay. You, and their properties are given on the right side. So for example, if you click here, so you can see these are the properties. It will data type is called a string. So if you click, click on first name, so all the details similar fashion, it will be shown here. Okay. So there are one, one more option preview. So if you click on preview, so there is an option called data row to skip. So for an example, our first row in the CSV file is an column. Okay. So I want, so I have written here is a zero. Okay. It means that first, first row inside the CSV file, it will skip. Okay. And from the next, it will take as a data part. Okay. So just click on next. Okay. Now it is asking to choose a destination. So our destination is that this file actually the SQL server. Okay. And our destination is that this table TBL employee. So just click the uh, click here and select the SQL server native like client. Okay. So just click here. Okay. Now what it is asking? It is asking to select the server name. So my server name is localhost. It will be, you can see, see it is shown here localhost and the database name. My, I am using the database name Geon stack. Okay. So just I'm clicking on the next. Okay. So you can see we have selected this source and I, we want to select, this is the source which we have selected from this location, this CSV file and the destination. So our destination is, is an, an employee table. Okay. Which is already existing table. This one TBL employee, TBL employee. Okay. So there is a button called edit mapping. So let's see what is in edit mapping. Just click here. So you can see. So there are several options coming here. Delete rows in destination table. Okay. So if I, if you click this, it will first delete the destination table rows. I mean, it will delete the, all the records in the table and then it will insert. And second option is append rows. Okay. It means that it will insert, insert into the table and it will not delete anything. So it will append. So this is, these are source, source column. I mean, these are the these are the columns which is given in CSV file and these are the column which is given in it, which is available in table employee. Okay. And this is the data type and this is nullable and this is size. Okay. So just click on okay. So just click next. Okay. Now this, this will show here. Okay. 
so review data type and mapping so just review it okay all are like it should be correct mapping source to destination this is the source and this is the source data type this is the uh, destination and this is the destination data type so just validate it and just click on next if i click on next okay so it, it is saying that save and run package and it is run immediately so if i click next so this package will run immediately it means that it will import from csv file to uh, this table okay tbl imply so just click on next so if I click on next, okay, so there is an option called finish. So let's click on finish. So if I click on finish, it will transfer all the rows. You can see two rows transferred. So if I click on click on two rows transferred, you can see this is a success message. Two row transferred success. Okay, so just close this. I'm clicking on close. So let's see these two records which is available in CSV file is existed in this TBL imp employee table or not. So just execute the, this. So you can see that these two records which is available in CSV file has been inserted in that SQL table TBL employee. So in this way you can import the in, import the data from CSV file into a existing TB table of SQL server. So friend hope you understood this. Thank you very much. So friends, this is my YouTube channel Geons Text. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.